Uh, hi, I'm Cliff Hagen, president of Protectors of Pine Oak Woods. And since 1975, Protectors has been advocating the increased stewardship of park properties across Staten Island, as well as the preservation of open space. We're here today at Blue Heron Park to take a tour around, walk the trails, and enjoy the, our time in nature. I understand a lot of people are out in the parks. So we appreciate that. Uh, but our presence in the park is impactful on the wildlife. And I'd like to share a few tips with you today as we walk through the park, we enjoy the time in the trails, how to be less impactful on the wildlife within our parks. So guys, as we're walking through the park, first and foremost, what's really important is that we make sure we defend against ticks. Everywhere on Staten Island, every park you go into, we need to be aware that there are ticks. You need to make sure that you take precautions. Spray yourself down with insecticide, cover up your socks over your pants to make sure the ticks don't crawl in underneath and, and really give you a hard time for the rest of your life. So the ticks are really important to be aware of. What's also very important, you can see here we have really well-defined trail. We want to stay on the trails. Please don't walk into the understory. Don't walk off the trail. The minute you leave the trail, the minute you're starting to impact wildlife. You should also know that the minute you walk off the trail, you are also stepping into the world of ticks and the world of poison ivy. We have a lot of poison ivy here in Staten Island. So please be aware, we're well-defined trails, stay on the trails. As you walk along the trails, you might be apt to reach down, turn over a log, flip over a rock to find yourself a snake or a salamander or something fun to play with. So you walk over, if you do flip over a log out of curiosity and look at that, here we go, we have a salamander. I'll pick it up with a handful of soil so that I don't touch the salamander. Salamander is an amphibian, tends to breathe through its skin, so you do not want to touch the wildlife. I'm touching the soil, not the salamander. I'm going to put that back, and that salamander, I'm going to make sure to put that log right back where I found it to make sure that salamander stays safe. Please, if you move anything within a park, make sure you put it back. And Try not to move anything if you can, but curiosity, of course, gets the best of us. We want to know what's under there. We want to go investigate. That's a great thing. We want to learn about the natural world, but we also want to minimize our impact. It's really important that we stay on the trail. We take a step off, but we can be damaging some wild flowers, some delicate ferns. Right here, as we walk along, I can look down here, and we have pyrola. There's some actually damaged pyrola here. Somebody has stepped on this, and there's some more pyrola here. This is a wildflower. Oh, terrific. Here's some coming into f bloom. There's some pyrola here. You can see the flower starting to bud. Um, and that's only two feet off the trail. So if we walk off the trail, we could actually damage these wildflowers. So it's important that we should stay on the trail as we walk through the park. As a steward of the parks here in Staten Island, I'm walking along the trail and I notice right here on the trail is a little bit of a uh, wildflower growing right on the edge of the trail here. Last year's uh, seed and the pyrola here starting to come up out of the ground. And I recognize this board, which is a trail marker here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and reconfigure the trail just a little bit to make sure these wildflowers are a little bit better protected really important to stay on the trails as we walk through the park. We do not want to have a negative impact on the wildlife. So here on Staten Island, in all of our parks, we have water features. There are ponds and creeks and lakes across the island. And it's really important that when we're enjoying our time in the park, we are not impacting what happens in those lakes or near those lakes. You will recognize on those lakes and ponds, we have ducks that nest, we have egrets and herons that fish there. We have fish in the ponds and turtles and frogs. It is a very healthy habitat, each and every pond here on Staten Island. And it's important that we not invade that space. When we're enjoying our time in the park and we finish our soda, we cannot throw the can in the water. We cannot litter within the parks. Whatever we bring in, we need to take out. Leave no trace. Another really important reason to stay on the trail is poison ivy. There's poison ivy all over the parks of Staten Island. Right here on the side of our trail, we have last year's poison ivy vine running up. You can see the branches coming off. It almost looks like branches of the tree. It's actually poison ivy. It's on this tree and it's on this tree right here. And this poison ivy in May, all throughout May and June, right up to November, this poison ivy will be very active, very green, and very volatile.
There is value to poison ivy. Poison ivy is a green plant that produces oxygen and enriches the soil as it decomposes through the year. It produces a fruit that the birds love. Birds will nest in poison ivy. They'll devour the fruit throughout the fall. There is a lot of value to poison ivy, except for us. We are allergic to the oils the poison ivy plant produces. That what causes the rash. We need to avoid it. Every other animal loves poison ivy, except for us.